Both students and physicians realize that now is a time to reconnect with the land and to one another as a community. That this is the nature of naturopathic medicine. And in order to fulfill this need, students from Bastyr and NCNM have independently founded two experiential retreats, the revival and the revitalization. I think that retreats like this are important because it gives people the opportunity to come out and connect with the land and connect with our principles in a way that's not necessarily possible in a classroom. A retreats like this are naturopathic. It's where we get to live our philosophy and unfortunately in our schools sometimes we don't get to do that and having this before the school year allows us to enter the school year prepared and revitalized. When we come out here and do hydrotherapy sessions, contrast hydrotherapy sessions, and get in the sauna, um, do the barefoot walking, uh, do, the, uh, do the poultices and the mustard wraps, it, with all of the other students at the same time, it gives a certain level of support for using these modalities as first tier primary treatments uh, for the things that they've always been used for. Personally, I enjoy the compassion that's spread between all the retreatants and the elders and just opening our hearts and our minds. Um, I think that connection is very important for the retreat. So did you have a fun time this year at the retreat? I had a lot more than fun. Yeah? It was fun and then some. Really, uh, it's, a, it's quite an experience to be around this, this type of energy with this many people. And, um, just this much love, you know? It's yeah. really, a, really a good feeling. What's your favorite part about the retreat? The people in the land, mm -hmm. I think. You know, just being here by yourself wouldn't be the same, but at the same time, you know, like having the community and also just being able to, you know, swim in the river and do the clay and just sort of really, like, spend a weekend doing nature cure, be reminded about why I came to NCNM in the first place. Nice. When you come to a retreat like this, how does this help you as a practicing physician it just gets me back in touch with why I became a naturopath to begin with um, either your first two years of practice you're trying to figure it out you're busy you've got a lot of different demands you're not busy you're trying to find the right approach and how do you work with patients and this especially listening to the elders and hearing their approaches and their wisdom um, I think it helps you refine who you are as a physician and you can then take that back to practice and not worry so much about direction, etc. Just be who you are and, and have faith in the medicine. And I'm starting practice real soon, moving in three days to start practice. Okay. So the timing was perfect. I was looking for that inspiration. You know, you have so much inspiration in school. It comes and goes as you, you know, uh -huh. head into your studies. But, you know, then you're out of school and you see, you know, I stayed in Portland for a year and I kind of saw everyone leaving the area, you know, everyone you've spent all these years in, in class with. And this was just a great time to have more of that inspiration right before heading to it. Well, one thing that I thought was amazing about this weekend was that our repeat elders are so into it mm -hmm. that it was like a whole new level of comfort and knowledge sharing because they they knew what to expect. That was really nice. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Just facilitate this retreat for these 50 people for the weekend. I'm cooking all the food myself and presenting all the workshops. It's all nerd. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta crop this. Waste up. Crop, crop okay. that out. <sighs> that looked like a little hydrotherapy in the afternoon. <laughs> Deep relaxation. Yeah. I feel very revitalized here as the revitalization retreat has brought many people together and allowed the community of our medicine to grow in ways that I didn't know were possible before coming here. After breakfast, go over to the ceremonial area. And then we're going to do a quick... Can, I, can you say that one again? Quick. Quick <laughs> closing ceremony. It's, 
anybody that was here last year, oh. it's Can't not going to be like that. <laughs> This retreat has been fantastic. And the thing that I appreciate is that everything runs on its own schedule and the students know exactly what to do. So from the elders' perspective, is like the highlight was when I went to the river and they're all mudding and swimming and sunning and it was all on their own. That was the highlight, that they get the message that they're getting back to the roots. Yeah, this was a success. Third year, third annual revitalization retreat, 2014, uh, going strong. Uh, can't wait until next year. Yeah. For sure. Just great.